So now, now, Bruce, they get a PR firm. Very uh, uh, normal situation in a well, child molestation case, isn't uh, it? Of course. Seems I mean, perfectly this, appropriate. Th the hiring of this PR firm is, is probably the stupidest thing that this prosecutor can do, especially during all the current allegations of the bad blood between them. I mean, there's just no reason for it. You don't want to field telephone calls from the press? Shut your phone off and practice law. Robert, what about that? Well, I think it's all part of the, uh, the jury pool contamination uh, that both the prosecution and defense engage in, particularly in high-profile cases. Uh, the defense has been exploiting all of the uh, bad publicity surrounding the victims and the victims' families and unfounded allegations uh, provided to the Department of Children's Services. And I guess the prosecution is now looking for their spin. Bob, when was the last murder case that a uh, district attorney uh, or your prior office ever hired a PR firm to uh, worry about jury pool and spin? If there's evidence, there's evidence. And uh, the prosecutor's job is to, is to dealt the justice. And if, they, and if he has a case here, which he certainly said he did uh, during that wonderful press conference, uh, why have the PR firm? Oh, I agree with you. I think it's sleazy and I think it's unbecoming a prosecutor's office. Uh, but uh, this is uh, somewhat, unfortunately, the climate we're living in in high-profile criminal cases. Especially down there find... in that part of California. Let's face it, that's where it all seems to happen. Yeah, the, the, the Jackson case is getting so much media scrutiny, and uh, uh, Garrigus, as a uh, seasoned defense lawyer who's handled high-profile uh, celebrity cases, knows how to utilize and manipulate the, uh, uh, the media, and I guess the DA's office is trying to catch up. It's you know, unseemly. You know, but it's reality. If you take all, all the uh, instances that, that, are, that are here, the, uh, all the stuff that's come out about the mother and, and, and the prior lawsuits and everything, and uh, this new unfounded case with the Child Welfare Association uh, in California, uh, now, and, and the bad blood between the district attorney and Michael Jackson. Very bad. Three million dollars in bail, despite the fact that uh, Blake was a million and a half and, and other murder cases are a million. I mean, this, this case cries out for a, a modern day stick up. Yeah, and you know, you wonder why a guy who's gotten all this bad publicity, and it all centers around this very place, this, this theme park in his backyard, you wonder why he doesn't disassociate right. himself Listen, from this. there's no doubt that Michael Jackson's off the wall, but, that, but <coughs> he's not on trial here for being off the wall. The question is, did he do it or did he not do it? And if he didn't do it, all this other fluff stuff really should fall by the wayside. Robert, You're right. Go ahead, You're Bruce, right. Get, Robert, get the last word. Yeah, well, what they're saying, what the defense is going to be is he's eccentric. He may even be nutty, but he's not a child molester. All right, we'll see. Robert, uh, Bruce, thank you both. Appreciate it.